In this lecture, we're gonna go over some of the basic techniques you can use to do competitive analysis. Now, it's not necessarily competitive analysis yet. The section's called competitive analysis, but what we're actually talking about in this lecture is how to find other competitors and how to effectively go about seeing whether or not people do exactly what you're proposing to do. It's quite obvious. Um, you would be amazed though how many people when they uh, enter into a startup idea or a business idea, product idea, they don't do the basic research to look for something out there. Um, what they end up doing is maybe spending a minute or two minutes just checking if something has the exact same name. Um, but I'm telling you right now, you need to go into a lot more depth than that when you are looking for a potential competitor. Now, when you do find a competitor, is it important uh, that you found one, and is it important how close they are to your idea? It just depends, okay? Um, it depends on what you're trying to do, it depends on who you are, and it depends on what your level of commitment to this product or idea is. So if I were, say, launching my mobile application for happy hours and I found someone who did the exact same thing, it would just depend. Um, competition is a good and a bad thing. If you find a competitor, that means that someone else has, no has noticed that there's a problem as well. Um, and clearly there's enough uh, recognition of this problem that someone else has tried to build a solution. But on the flip side, it means that there is someone else trying to capitalize on that space. It might be crowded, it might be more difficult, and you might need more execution um, ability uh, than if you were entering into a market that's completely empty and a market we weren't sure if anyone had any demand for. So it just kind of depends. Typically, I like to look at it as a positive. When I see a competitor, um, I think of it as good. It means that what I've uh, the idea I've thought of and the problem I've thought of solving, it does exist and other people recognize it. So that's usually good. The thing that I think is going to differentiate uh, essentially between whether or not this is a good thing to do or a bad thing to do. So what's going to matter when you do find a competitor? You just need to look at them uh, and see whether or not they are something that you can beat, see what uh, disadvantages they have, see what they're doing wrong, see what you can improve on. Maybe their idea isn't the exact same. Um, maybe it's very similar, but you think you have a better shot at what they're doing. I would still continue with the test in that case. And obviously if you see uh, a company that's doing what you're doing, but they are not doing it very well, that's a great opportunity. That establishes their just demand, but also you can do it better than them. Okay, so I'm gonna show you really basic techniques. We're just gonna use Google and I'm gonna show you some really simple stuff that can help you find other companies. So we'll switch over to the screencast. Um, so really all I would do is, uh, you know, typically if I were to look for, say, my mobile application uh, for happy hours, I would just search for it. Now, there are some basic rules that you can use uh, when searching online that can help you in many different ways. Mm -hmm. 